just want to sit here with you guys and let you know what the last few months of my life have looked like, where I'm basically at, what I've been up to. We covered the topic of motivation in last week's vlog a little bit. I kind of want to continue it a little bit. Not too much, not too much, because I don't want to bore you. When you have an online presence of some sort, you do always feel the pressure that you should be showing everything you do in your life. And sometimes I just want to take a step back and actually enjoy my life. Not always have a camera up in people's faces, up in my face, in my life. And I know I'm a creator, but I feel like that doesn't mean I constantly have to be filming every single step of my life and every moment. But don't get me wrong. At the same time, I am that person that always carries a camera with them because you never know what you're going to catch or what's going to happen. And I love that. And I love the spontaneity of doing things throughout my day that I don't necessarily always know that I'll be doing them and having my camera there to capture that, not just for you guys, but also for me, because it's a moment that I can look back on. There's so many vlogs that I look back on now, and I'm so glad that I filmed during that time because I can watch that back and it's a little bit like a video diary that I can refer back to and the memories are really incredible. I guess I've just been really appreciating the small moments that I have with Christian, for example, you know, just being in the moment, not always having to film us doing things together, but like actually just doing them and enjoying them. Don't get me wrong, I love, love, love showing you guys our Saturdays and what we do, but sometimes I just want it to be me and him and not have that little pressure. It's not always a pressure. Sometimes it is just fun and I don't even notice that I'm doing it, but sometimes there is this little pressure of, oh, I need to film this. Oh, I should film this. Oh, maybe let's do that because it's a little bit more interesting to watch. I've just cut down on that a little bit, which doesn't mean I'm not going to share exciting videos with you guys in the future, but I've just found more of a balance of having a personal life that I really enjoy and also capturing moments that I know you guys will enjoy watching. I hear a really cute little guy coming. Okay, hello. You always make a little appearance, don't you? But don't you always make a little appearance, aren't you? So a lot has been happening to this little guy, actually. He ended up having fleas and we didn't know about it, but I noticed he was scratching a lot at one point and licking himself a lot. And I thought it was an allergy to food because we actually changed up his food. But it ends up that he just has fleas. And so Christian and I had to do a very deep clean and clean the entire apartment on Sunday. And it was crazy. We really went deep cleaning. I now have to buy some flea spray as well, just to try and put it around in the corners and stuff. because. This little guy here brought home fleas somehow. He's an indoor cat, but somehow, maybe from Portugal. I don't know. My health also has not been the best recently. I mean, I feel fine. I haven't had like a cold or a flu or something like this, but I have had like strange lumps showing up on my neck. I have one in the back of my neck. I have one right here. And it's basically like my lymph nodes are swollen, but without any other symptoms on my body. I had slight headaches and slight body aches at one point. Went to the doctor, they did blood tests. There's absolutely nothing wrong with me apparently. So it does make make it a little irritating because I cannot figure out how to help myself. I'm just waiting around for things to feel better. So I've cut out the gym completely. I'm just trying to rest as much as I can. I'm sleeping a lot more. So I'm sleeping in in the morning, trying to make sure that I can take care of my health because it's the most important thing to you is your health. I've had to work a lot. I've been stressed a lot. There's just been a lot going on. So trying to handle stress, which this might be stress actually. I've also still have my herpes. It's still not going away. I have acne. Maybe you don't see it so much right now, but my skin is breaking out really badly and I just need to relax and take time to myself with my son here because you know stress is a killer and stress will ruin you if you don't learn how to balance it out right Ocho? But on a more fun note, I went to a really, really cool brunch place. I don't know if it's brunch exactly, maybe they have lunch and also other food, but it's called the Avocado Club. And Christian and I had really good food. Oh my God, and everything was so aesthetic looking. I highly, highly recommend this place for a nice lunch date, breakfast date, brunch date, whatever you want to call it. I really recommend it. The food was honestly 10 out of 10. And it's perfect for a nice photo as well, if you're into that. If you don't know, my boyfriend Christian actually owns a software company and I'm very proud of him. He's come so, so far in the last couple of years. It's insane to me and I couldn't be prouder. About a week ago, we went to a podcast that he was taking part of and it was just nice to see him there. Although I understood fuck all of what he was saying because it was all Alf Deutsch. It was just nice to support him, to be there for him and just seeing him grow as a person privately, but also in his work area is just so rewarding and it just makes me so happy. And I'm so, so glad that I'm able to experience that with him and be there every step of the way. And yeah, just seeing that grow is, is incredible. I just love and appreciate when I'm able to witness people that I love so much do so well. I just love 
seeing people do well. I don't know. I'm that person that I root for people. Like I'm so happy when someone is successful and succeeding and doing really well. Climbing up that ladder, yeah, it fills me with joy and motivation and it inspires me to push myself too. And that's the type of partner that you need in life, at least that I need in life. So I ended up going somewhere very, very cool. This was a couple of weeks ago and it was a Sunday market. But what makes it extra cool is that this Sunday market was fully vegan. Let's cut to that clip because you gotta see it. So you guys, I'm now off to a market that's basically like a vegan market this Sunday and I'm super excited about it. It's called Holtzmark 25, I wanna say. A friend invited me and I'm super excited to go because it's gonna be all vegan and that is an absolute dream. I've never actually, I don't know if I've been there before actually. I feel like I haven't. Maybe I have when it hasn't been vegan but the fact that everything's gonna be vegan is just a heaven. This is like the most German background ever. Look at it. It's like the courtyard of where I'm living. <laughs> anyway, let's go and see what this is all about. It's around 45 minutes away from me. Let's go. working on a new project with a friend of mine. We actually met at the company that I work for. We've become really, really, really good friends and we've decided to start our little project thing. Uh, I won't talk about it yet just because it's not really in, it's in the works, but it's not developed yet. And I don't want to bring it out until it's been built a little bit more, but I think it's going to be very exciting. And it's a side hobby, little project that we want to do together. And it's always nice to do that. Grab a friend or someone close to you and just create something, do something. It's so much fun. I love it. I love, love, love experimenting with new platforms. This platform particularly, I have no idea about, but there are people who know and you can pay these people and it's not necessarily super expensive. So don't let not knowing how to do something put you off. You can either learn to do it yourself if you have the time, but if you don't have the time and you have a little bit of money you can put into it, then do that, you know? Don't let not knowing hold you back from doing because there are so many opportunities that we don't experience because we think that our lack of knowledge is a reason not to do it, if that made sense. But I feel like you get what I mean. You guys, this cat is the cutest thing that I've ever seen. Bully! She, sorry, he loves water, taps water, any water. Excuse me. Oh, no bite, you don't bite me. Mm -hmm. 